Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some American Truck Simulator, shall we? You know, I've seen this game so many times, and I've always been close to just trying it out uh, because it looks hysterical. I've always wanted to try a big rig driving it, not because I would be good, but because I understand that I'm going to get in wrecks and people are going to, uh, digital people, digital cars, digital property are going to suffer the consequences of my inability to drive. I'm reasonable driving a regular sized vehicle. Larger than that, I don't trust myself. So let's see how it goes. All right, so the profile, that's fine. Uh, what picture can I choose? Oh, these are like uh, hyper-realistic photographs. Okay, that's interesting. These are probably... I wonder if these are like people who made the game or like, um, you know, Kickstarters or, or how these photos were chosen. Okay, uh, but... You know, these are pretty hilarious. This guy's smiling, and he has a beard like, you know, me kind of. And he's got like a, either a toothpick, a piece of straw, something like that. So that's that's pretty reasonable. Um, preferred truck design. I have no idea what I would like my truck to look like. This blue one looks pretty cool. And then my logo. Um, yeah, you know, uh, let's just... Uh, it, you know, we go around the world, across the water, and we tend to point towards Central America. That's, that's right. Um, company name. Incompetent Trucking. I think that says it all. Uh, we're English. I don't know about the map module. That's fine. Uh, Steam Cloud. Uh, I actually don't want to use the Steam Cloud. And let's create. Do you want to allow automatic checking for game updates? That's fine. Image spotlight. Uh, whatever, that's fine. Oh, dear God. Um, oh, okay, I get to pick the states. From the grand American highways running through the hills of dusk red rock, leading to cities bustling with culture and landmarks, Oklahoma's a diverse state. All right, um, so uh, this is just the newest update. So they've added another state to the game. That's hilarious. Okay, um, and I'm going to just, I don't know, click continue game, but God, I hope there's some kind of tutorial. Let's go. Um, okay, so I can use a controller or I can, uh, and I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to see what using a controller is like, but I can also use uh, mouse and keyboard. Um, fine. Fine. And uh, select gearbox type. Um, let's see. I don't have... I'm going to go simple automatic. I'll tell you what. I've driven standard before. I had a Mazda 323 for a period. I am not a fan. I know some people love it. And it's like one of those things where if it's your jam, more power to you. I, I people love it. Uh, I do not. So I'm going to go automatic. Um, so I use A uh, or down or whatever. Let's go. Let's get driving. Uh, select the city that we want to start in. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I can only choose certain headquarters. Um, I could start in San Francisco. This seems like the worst possible place to drive a truck. Uh at least, I mean, in the city, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm going to think about, like, you know. Yeah, do Arizona, you know. Flagstaff, uh, that's fine, you know. Uh, what other places do we have? Tucson, yeah. Yeah, Flagstaff is great. Go for it. Do you want to do? Oh, yes, please give me the tutorial. Oh, yes. Dear God, we need it. Do I know what's going to happen? Not at all. Alright, let's see. Here we go. 
Welcome to American Truck Simulator. Thank you so much. Wow. At least you have, the, uh, at last, you have the chance to experience your dream job. Driving a truck. This is not my dream job, but I want to play it as a video game. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. That seems a key sticking point to be able to, uh, you know, have a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. I guess that's right. I guess everybody starts out that way unless you're, you know, have a loan or independently wealthy as you have to work up to buying your own truck. That makes more sense. Your task is to safely deliver a mix, uh, a load of mixed tank to Bitumen Dock in Grand Canyon Village. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle that will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. <laughs> Don't let anyone down. I'm going to let myself down. I can't wait. Right stick to start up the engine. All right. I bumped up the graphic settings a little bit because it was crazy low. So hopefully the game will work well here. All right. So there's other camera views visible for you. See which one suits you the best. Um, and now I can still use the keyboard to be like, use these key commands. Um, you know, top down camera. Chasing camera, interior camera. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I see what you're doing here. Now, I can cycle through these by pushing up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is wild. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yep. Get the... Yeah, we definitely need the uh, windshield wipers on. I don't know how I turned those on. Um, oh, okay. It's the right... It's right on the directional pad. Turn those babies off. There you go. Switch to the chasing camera and look around the truck. Press enter or A to continue. All right, I did that. Roof camera, lean out camera, bumper camera. You know, I bet these would like make life a lot easier if you were a truck driver. The ability to just see above your um, car, like your truck, like with a drone or something like that. Think about how useful that would be. Uh, okay. Try different views and then press A. We did that. It's time to make a delivery. Use the route advisor to see where you are and where you need to go. Press the options to look closer. All right. Uh, that's not the right button. Let me try a different button. Um, okay. Uh, paused. Uh, let's see. When the game is paused, you can control the route advisor. I have like an old school GPS here. You have a sat nav called route advisor available at all times. Route advisor displays your current status and helps you with information about your current job and point you where you need to go. The route advisor has information pages you can use during your journey. You can see the map, job information, status of your truck, trailer, and cargo. To switch to pages, use the directional pad or num zero. So at top says your current status, which is your speed, your gear, um, your damage, geez, your fuel, your fatigue, uh, your email indicator, your time, and your money. I got 1500 bucks. There's, that's where I am, and there's my page toggles. Navigation map shows your current position as a blue arrow. If you're on a job, it also shows the shortest route to your destination in red. At the bottom of the page, there's an estimation of the remaining trip, time, and distance. And you can cycle through the different zoom levels by pressing F5 or activating the buttons on the screen. Okay, so I can push, like, F5 to zoom way out. Oh, wow. Okay, yep, that, that is right. All right, um, F6 continues, I guess. The job description page summarizes what you're carrying and where. It tells you when you're expected, how much time you have left, and how much money you'll receive if you arrive on time without damaging the cargo. So uh, I can make 3,800 bucks. That's good. That's like, you know, doubling my current money. Uh, so I get to stack up like almost four times as much money as I have on top here. That's great. On the diagnostics page, you can see how badly your truck are, and cargo are damaged. This is what I'm going to have to worry about as I hit the guardrails and other things. The vehicles can be repaired at the service station in any city. Duct tape. The damage to cargo, however, is permanent. That's sad, so be careful. If you happen to get stuck, you can also call road assistance by using the services and adjustments menu. For a fee, they'll take you to the nearest city and help you get back to working. Well, why not? I'll just have them take me to the next city and then split the difference on the fee. Um, okay. 
That's all you need to know. You can run this at any time by pushing the help button. Um, all right, so we'll close the tutorial. Use the controller to control the root advisor. Right. Um, really, I just, uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Sh messages, diagnostics, current job, navigation. There you go. That's all I want to see. And all set and ready to go. Follow the navigation toward your destination. All right, so I'm going to pretend like I'm really driving this baby. And there's, there's me looking at my side view. And luckily, they've given me a lot of space to work with. All right, so let's kind of ease this out. Oh, dear God. And this is the right way. I need to take a left turn right here. Let's, uh, I guess it'd be responsible to look for oncoming traffic before I make a left against the grain here. Oh, I stopped, like, on a dime. That felt good. All right. Nobody's coming. Looks good. Now this is going to be... How do I turn this thing, right? Okay. Deal with it. Now sometimes it's hard to see, like... There we go. Oh, there is somebody coming. Dear God. Alright. Alright. It's just a, a single tractor, so... A uh, trailer, so I don't have to worry about too much. And... <laughs> this is hysterical. This game looks great. Uh, I know it probably looks amazing if you're at, like, 4K or something with all the bells and whistles. I'm just doing it so I can record it without having frame rate drops. Oh, yeah. I'm on the open road, baby. All right. Look at this beautiful beauty. Hey, Van, stay in your lane. You don't want any of this, Van. You don't want it. All right, I'm going... Oh my god, I almost hit the side. I'm a little out of control here. Oh, I'm over the line. No, no, officer, I'm fine. Uh, oh boy. Uh-oh. Stay away from that guy. He's like, dude, I can tell you're a rookie. All right, we got to take a left right here. Uh, we go to L.A. or Flagstaff. Um, oh, no, no, we need to actually go on. The, yeah, do not enter. That's, that's not where we want to go. God, I hope there's nobody behind me. You're going to be suffering if you are all right so we're going to take a left and there's nobody so this is pretty smooth we'll just kind of swing around here oh yeah nice and wide that's that's legit right like people are fine with that unless you were sitting on the side of the road all right oh i didn't check can i merge you better get out of my way i didn't even do i need my turn signal i didn't use it I don't know how to use it. All right. I'm going uh, 55 miles an hour, and it's a 75-mile-an-hour zone. So we can definitely crank it here. It's going to take us a while to get up to speed. Now, this is a two-lane road, so um, I need to stick. I'm on Interstate 40. I need to stick in the right lane with that blue jerk. Nice car. Don't cut me off. You better give me plenty of space. This is a 75, buddy. I'm going to draft you. I'm going to catch your tailwind. Can I set the cruise control? We got a cruise on this? All right, I'm checking out my mirrors. Can I change my mirror, I wonder? Oh, my God. I didn't mean to do that. I hope that paused the game. It did. Okay. I brought up the map. I'm just, like, pushing buttons randomly. I know what the speed, like, I know my accelerator, and I know my brakes, and I know how to control and change some cameras. Road safety is no accident. Well, I'm going to prove that to be wrong by saying if I get involved, uh, if I don't get into a wreck, that was an accident. I can barely keep this baby going straight. All right. God, we're doing great. Oh, I'm speeding. Uh-oh, there better not be a state trooper. Look, I got a long road ahead, Stady. Oh, no, this guy, fellow trucker, is going too slow. I don't know if I have what it takes to overtake this vehicle. All 
Um, can I trust you to just go the speed limit, my dude? It's all right. It's our first day on the job. Maybe you know something I don't. Uh-oh. I drifted. I honked. I didn't really mean to honk, but that was funny. You hear me honking blue and yellow? It's going to be a long road, dude. I'm at the Arizona Divide. Oh, Coco Nino. All right. Yep. Don't worry. Oh, now it's down to 65. So this guy, this like blue and yellow did know something I didn't. Oh my God. I need to go this way. I almost didn't make it. Oh my God. We got to slow down. Wow. It stopped really well. I had no idea that I could stop. Like I thought I would need way more room to slow down my semi than that. Maybe the brakes aren't realistic, but like maybe if you're playing on like expert difficulty, I would have just plowed through that and there would be screams and explosions. But that was okay. I think if I successfully navigate this and, and deliver the, the goods on time, then I am uh, a certified like CTL and they just mail it to my house. I need to figure out how to change these mirrors because... Um, freeway ends hey that's uh, auspicious you hate to see that i need some freeway here oh 45 miles an hour what a shame road safety again huh fine i'll be safe oh boy oh this is freaky whoa 35 we gotta slow down here now i put on the brakes so quickly that if somebody was behind me, they just rammed into my trailer and they're no longer alive. I need to make a left turn. So I'm just not even, I'm just going to go over to the left. I'm not signaling. I'm just assuming that everyone's going to get out of the way because I'm such a big vehicle and they have to deal with this basically. I should probably learn how to drive the, uh, the car here. It's a red light. So this is you know, if I wanted to be a daredevil, I'd just go and just make everyone deal with it. I don't know what's beeping. Uh-oh. The wrong... T oh, okay. Yep. I did have the right turn signal on. Don't even do it, Jeep. That's going to be the last move you ever make. All right. What is so interesting about this game? I don't know what it is, but something about the realism of it and just being up high in this truck and that knowing that everyone's life is in my hands. Uh, look at that UPS guy. Like the detail, everything. It's very interesting. So it is L1 and R1 to do your signals. It's just when I was in that extended camera view, I couldn't... Um, the indicators didn't flash or anything like that. Oh, I ran the light. Well, I mean, come on. It's me. Ooh, this is the motel. We could stay here. This is a really nice place. Definitely not going to get bed bugs in that place. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's a... A BP. Well, or... I don't even know what they rebranded that. Or if that's even still a, a thing anymore. I haven't been to Arizona in a while. I don't know if they've got... Some... Outlying... Gas... Station companies that I'm not familiar with in the Midwest, but let's roll. All right. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Is that animals? Oh, God. Well, there might be some... We might be having venison. Venison jerky. Uh-oh. Look at that, that street sign. It, it You know, this is actually uh, topical because Paul Rubens just died. Pee Wee Herman... But I don't know if you remember in Pee-wee's Big Adventure when, like, he's getting sleepy and he progressively sees, like, more complicated 
street signs when he's driving with that escaped inmate that he hitchhiked with it's so good and that's what i'm expecting to see like you know just a completely nonsensical road sign where it's like it's going in loops and like it's tied like a pretzel and there's just no possible way that i could do it and there's falling rocks but this is actually not too bad all right i just pushed down to quickly check the map and it does just kind of pause the game with you driving and i can see like how far i have to go that's a, a friendly way to just let me pause the game. I can imagine my character just looking down at his cell phone. Oh, God, this turn is not ideal. Uh-oh. Sorry, dude. I, I got a little greedy with my... He actually stopped for me. He was like... Oh, ooh, he's got, like, fuel, too. Good thing he stopped for me. We would have both blown up together. Kaibab. National Forest. I could spend some time at Kaibab. Is there a camping simulator built into this? Uh-oh. Oh, God, a twisted ruin. Look at all this. Uh-oh, there's the guy. He's like, don't do anything foolish. That's a, a cautionary tale right there of what I can do to things on the road if I'm not careful. What's this? Is it 55 miles an hour here? God, there's no way I feel comfortable doing that. It is nice, though, when you're in a car this big. Like, if I was spacing out and going the wrong speed, people would be honking, overtaking me, you know, all kinds of stuff. Like, in this thing, there's nothing you can do. You can honk all you want. It's going to do nothing to me. I have a button that just decouples my trailer. Like, what are you going to do against that? I just speed away... And I also have uh, C4 charges planted all over it. Like, you've got no chance if you try to mess with me. All right. Do I need to take this right turn? I think I do. Or am I going to the next one? I think this is me. Grand Canyon National Park. Wow. I hope they have a Grand Canyon fully. Uh-oh, I hit something. I hit that post. Oh, my God. Oh, these people are passing me. Crash vehicle. Oh my god, that guy passed me. Uh-oh, we've got problems. Alright, what do we got? Oh, it's just me in this post. And all the people behind me. It finally happened. Alright. Um, can I just go? Yes. Alright. So the car behind me took a little damage. That was a tough turn for me. But that's what you get. You follow me too close, you're about to get wrecked. Oh, it's the Alamo. Well, there's no basement in the Alamo. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll stop. This is awesome. Like, I am absolutely not suitable to drive this uh, vehicle. Ooh, look at that hot dog place. Now, I have no idea how I'm supposed to make that turn staying in the lane. Donuts, too? Jackpot. All right. Yeah, this view is a little bit better for me. Uh, the, the cockpit view is more fun. But this is like when I play Grand Theft Auto. I have to drive like this just to see where my position is on the road. And it's a 65-mile-an-hour zone, so we can start cranking it. You can see that I have $1,320, so like they already took the 180 out of my wallet for the little fender bender that we got into. I like to pick, think of myself like in Goodfellas, or no, not Goodfellas, Godfather, like where, you know, Sonny just breaks the cameraman's camera and just like spits and throws money at him. That's what happened. I just threw $180 like out of my windshield or my window and just like spit down on the ground and just was like, go fix it and then drove off. That's kind of where, I, where I'm at. Now, wait a minute. Oh, it's it quickly changed to a 45. Boy, that's difficult. 35 now. Man, it was like 65 to 45, just like that. There should be... Was there a reduce speed sign? I didn't see that. To 25. Grand Canyon Village discovered. Okay, cool. And I want to go here. 
So let's see about making this turn. All right, deal with me. I'm going left. Deal with me. Deal with it. Accept it. This is happening. Oh, I think we're actually almost there. Yeah, look at there. There's the bitumen. And am I... Actually, I might be carrying fuel myself. I thought for some reason I was just carrying something innocuous. I could also blow up anything. Yeah, get out of my way. I've got fuel. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. That was very, very nearly awful. If there's anybody behind me, they're wrecked. But I'm okay. Oh, boy. Uh, sure. Road work ahead. They did. Look at that. There's the Grand Canyon. This is awesome. Man, you should choose Flagstaff. You, look, because you get to see the Grand Canyon. Approach the entrance gate to get a clearance to bring the stuff in. All right, stop here. Oh, no, it's not red. Once you have selected your desired parking spot, proceed to park the trailer. Uh-oh. Look at that. Boy, they're really doing some pipe work. Oh, did I not do that right? A, a rectangular area will be highlighted. Oh my god, look at the road thing in front of me. Uh, luckily, there's nobody behind me. There's guys at working, though. Um, when the trailer is positioned, a message will appear asking you to detach it. Sweet. All right, everybody. Let's see if I can, uh, you know, park this baby. There's a chopper moving in. There's road work, so hopefully nobody's coming from the other way. I have no earthly idea. Oh, my God, how this is going to go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Look at this turn. I'm already hitting it. Okay, let me see my overhead view. Oh, okay. I meant to uh, change to a different camera view. Look, there's the beautiful Grand Canyon. Let's just look at that for a moment and not pay attention to the fact that my globetrotter is... Uh, yeah, the sirens are all going off. Okay, we've got problems. All right, let's take it back. I think the deal is... Okay, here, stop. Oh, okay, here. I'm going to need to kind of swing way out wide to make this work. And we're just going to turn. You know, I was thinking about this game. And by the way, I'm back playing after a little bit of a break. And the way I see it is I'm just going to do everything as slow as possible. And other drivers can deal with how bad I am turning. Maybe as I get better at the game, I'll speed up, but, you know, um, I'm, uh, I'm not the best at handling this thing. So we're just going to kind of go at our own pace and move ahead. And this is a 25 mile an hour zone anyway, so I think I was just going way too fast. And I need to go left right here, actually. All right, this looks great. Luckily, nobody's coming. And we just squeak through. I mean, look at this. Goodness gracious. That's right, Globetrotter. You're beautiful. All right, and it says there's going to be some kind of rectangular marker this is just a viewing spot where people are checking out the grand canyon which is sick and then now am i just turning around i don't understand what i'm doing i thought i just did this i think I, this is like what happens to be in real life i don't get what the navigator navigator is asking me to do maybe i should zoom way in on my map Okay, I need to go forward a ton, and then I can go right. And then I can go back. Um, I think I just passed where I was supposed to drop this off and didn't understand. And the navigator kept going just to turn me around, unless... I don't know. Uh, 
All right, well, there's nobody behind me, so that's a tender mercy. Okay. To skip parking the trailer and complete the delivery, enter or press A. Um, but maybe this is actually the terminal. Maybe I didn't understand. Maybe they want this, like, right here for some reason. Um, but I don't want to auto park. Here, show me the map. Um... I can so oh I can toggle the side mirrors. Oh, I can put up both. Okay. I can have none, I can have one. All right, I like to see both and then um I can have this and let's see show me The map is here. Um Yeah, go to, go to navigation, but no, give me, show me like the. I have four hours left, so I'm I've got plenty of time. They've given me like a million years, which is good. I want to zoom in on this. Here we go. And it's right here to the right, so it looks like maybe where I was supposed to park. Hmm. I mean, I see the bitumen factory, like, ahead of me. But no, they want it right over here. Oh, I see the flashing. I didn't see it. There it is. That's where they want me, right there. All right. So I'm going to pull up, and I'm going to back into this like it's a dream. This is why they had me turn around. They wanted me to turn around because you, I, they want me to back into this spot, and I couldn't have done it. So I didn't miss it. It's just that they want this back in there. All right. So let's pull up even more so that we can get some space to try and figure this out. Oh, my God. I used to work... Uh, my brother is a mason, and so, like... Oh, let me stop. I would work sometimes during the summer when I was in college with him, and he would get a trailer every once in a while on his truck, and he would, like, be doing this backing the trailer in and I it always looked like so difficult I would get out and help him sometimes like tell him where his clearance was now I understand it's come full circle I'm backing up the trailer all right and that's too much that's too aggressive okay here Can I get a better view? Okay, this is actually not a... This view is pretty sweet, but I can't control the camera from this view. I mean, this is like just using the side view. So brutal. Mm. Now this is my best shot at seeing it and being able to move the camera. Okay, no problem. And by no problem, I mean like about a thousand problems. Oh my god. It seems like no matter what I do, it's not working the way I want it to. Oh god, we hit that. I don't think I hit it hard enough, though, to absolutely damage it. So they're not charging us money. But the construction guys are definitely watching, like, what in God's name is wrong with you? And I'm telling them, um, I'm not a real truck driver. Like, the secret's out. This is... They know. They're like, we, we already knew. We knew when we, we saw you passing. All right. Um, I need to just move it over. Actually, if I can go straight back from here, this isn't bad. So let's try to get this, like, my front position. Yep, yep. All right, and let's see if I can just back this straight up and see how close it gets. Okay, wait, why is it? Oh, the wheels are still turned. Whoops, whoops. All right, that messed all that up. Okay, let me get the wheels turned. There we go. Now the wheels are straight. Okay, it's kind of going back the right way. Alright, and now it's going too far uh, this way, so I need to kind of... Oh god, stop. Okay. 
sometimes I'm like, I feel like L2 is brake, and it is if you're going forward, but if you're going backward, it's accelerate, it, it's like go in reverse faster, and that's not quite what I was looking for. All right. No, that's the wrong way. All right, I need to turn the wheels like this. And just kind of guide it back. Guide it back, but keep turning the wheels. No, no, no. As much as you can like that. Yep. And then let's go straight. I'm going to just pull it forward now. And I'm going to kind of follow these tracks like right ahead of me. And just pull the rig way up. Alright. And then... Right, and then... Okay, wait. But I got to turn my wheels. Stop, 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 stop. You're killing it. That's the exact wrong thing to do. Nope, nope, wrong way. Okay. Here, go this way. Okay. So, here. Let's see. Alright, stop. Other way. All right, it's going backward. And it's sort of getting into the spot. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to kind of try to even it out a little bit. Oh, my God, that guy's sitting back there. Like, you're taking your life into your own hands, dude. Are you sure that's where you want to be positioned? Let's see how bad is the back part. The back is not even remotely close to being aligned where we needed to go. So what I'm going to do is try to just very, very casually. Now where are we at? Uh... You know, this is almost right. The back is just not straight, though. That might be as good as we're going to get it. So let me turn the wheels so that they're straight. And then just kind of uh, guide this back. Let me stop. I'm going that way. Let me see if I can cheat it just a little bit like that. Good job. What are you waiting for? Unload and start playing on your own. Okay, it, it's green. Cargo is ready. Press the key to detach. That's as good as you're going to get. Decoupling. We did it.
Holy smokes. Oh, you get experience points in this game? What do those do? All right. So we did it. We got all the money. We got some experience. This is your headquarters. It looks like my headquarters. It looks beautiful. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. We gotta get that graffiti off of there. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there's no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Uh, here you can see your progress, okay? And it says new upgrades available. Um, pick your next job. What does new upgrades available mean? Wow. This is amazing. So I finished my first little run. And I have to say, I'm terrible at this game. But somehow I really enjoy it. Like, I think it's uh, fascinating. And I'd love to know what you all think of this game. Have you been playing it? Do you enjoy it? Do you want to see more of this? What are your thoughts and opinions about this particular game what do you feel about it is there any dlc that's like a must-have for it um do you have any tips and tricks any kind of advice or comments please put those down below on the youtube video i'd love to talk with you guys about this game i'm impressed and just let me know uh, if you want to see more and what your impressions are thanks so much for watching everyone take care